Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of the Ardennes, fought between Germany and France, located in the Ardennes region of the Belgian-French border on August 21st of the 23rd, 1914. After some earlier success, French Commander-in-Chief General Joseph Joffrey ordered an attack through the Ardennes forest to assist the fighting on the flank of the Lorraine assault. His original orders were issued on August 18th, but he held back implementing them because air and cavalry recon had discovered the German armies were not present where he expected them to be. On August 19th, Joffrey ordered General Fernand de Langle de Carey and the French 3rd and 4th Armies to secure bridges over the Semois River, but to still not cross the Belgian border. Joffrey wanted to wait and see where the Germans were coming from. Joffrey didn't have to wait long, though. On August 20th, the German armies did attack the French 1st and 2nd armies. This triggered Joffrey's orders, and the next day French 3rd and 4th Army crossed the bridge and entered Belgium. The 3rd Army's name was changed to the Army of Lorraine, and they were tasked with watching for a German offensive from the Metz area. The remaining French forces were free to invade Belgium fully. They consisted of 9 infantry corps. Unfortunately for the French, the Germans had 10 infantry corps and 6 reserve brigades present in the area to stop them. One of the disadvantages the French suffered was that they did not have enough maps of the area, and they had no size of the German forces present. The German 4th Army under command of Albrecht, Duke of Württemberg, and the 5th Army of the Crown Prince Wilhelm were present and ready to attack. The French made good time for a while, sweeping aside the small German units that were present. This changed when on August 22nd, the French attacked the German 5th Corps, who were dug in at Longwy at 5 a.m. While the French had no artillery support, the area was covered in a thick fog and rain, so they decided to use that as cover. As the French moved into the area, the fog and rain dissipated, leaving the French out in the open. The German artillery unleashed volley after volley on the French, while the German infantry counterattacked and routed the French forces. To the north, the 4th French Corps also used the fog to advance and approach the German troops near Wurzen. The fog lifted and they were routed as well. At this time to the south, the Battle of Rosignol had begun, drawing most of the remaining French troops in the area to that battle. All these different events stopped the French advance, resulting in a German victory. The total casualties for the French were approximately 58,000, including 22,000 killed, 36,000 wounded. The Germans suffered less with a total of 38,000 casualties, including 15,000 killed and approximately 23,000 wounded. Join us next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.